This video will show you solutions to a problem on saw Red Dead Redemption 2 if it's stuck on launch in Windows 10 or 11. There are many factors that can prevent PC games like Red Dead Redemption 2 from launching and make the game unplayable. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who has the same issue so that we can help them too. Once you're done, let's begin. Fix 1. End Close Background Software Some programs or software that are left open or running in the background may also cause conflict and eventually stop the game from loading up successfully. Among the software that often caused conflict to Red Dead Redemption include the NZXT Cam, F-Lux, MSI Afterburner, and EVGA Precision XOC. To rule this out, open the Task Manager on your Windows computer, then end these programs or services. Fix 2. Configure Windows for Clean Boot. Performing a clean boot can also help. Doing so will stop any unwanted services and prevent some software from interfering with the Rockstar Games launcher. Fix 3. Set RDR2.x to run as administrator and disable full screen optimization. Running a program in administrator mode is also a potential solution, especially if the error is tied to some permissions. When running the game in administrator mode, all permissions are unlocked for the game to access the required resources from the system, allowing it to work properly. Fix 4. Disable antivirus and firewall connections. Antivirus software and firewall connections can also halt certain programs and games from running. This is often the case if a possible security breach or similar threat is detected. To clear this out, try to disable your antivirus software or firewall and then retry launching RDR2 in Rockstar Games. Fix 5 Update and Reinstall Graphics Card Driver Drivers are the key components to run your games. To ensure optimum performance of your hardware, keeping graphics card or video card drivers up to date is highly recommended. You can update drivers manually or automatically. For manual updating, just go to the hardware manufacturer's official website and find the corresponding drivers for your Windows system. That's it! If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share it to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this to others.